What's happening everyone? First things first, let me give a big thank you to Johnny Candido for that shout out. I thanked him in my last video, but I have had about an increase of a thousand subscribers, about a thousand subscribers since he gave me that shout out. And many of you guys are having positive comments, leaving positive feedback, asking really good questions. So I want to say thank you to Johnny and thanks to all my new subscribers because your questions, your feedback, your comments are just gonna help improve this channel. So if you guys have anything like that, leave it down in the comments box. I read every single one of them and I will do my best to provide a high quality answer and really do the best service I possibly can to you as a subscriber because really, you're taking time out of your day to watch my video, the least I can do is to provide for you an answer. Now, enough about that. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Johnny. Let's talk training. This right here was our Wednesday session. It's a medium intensity, medium volume, lower body session. So lots of pulls, some front squats. I did seven sets of three at 405 of my pulls, and then four sets of five on the front squats here with 225. This is my last set. It felt really good. In fact, it felt fantastic, so I just paused all of them. Very short pauses, but a pause nonetheless. Now, missed training on Thursday because I worked from 5 a.m., well, 5.30 a.m. until about 8.30 p.m. So it was a very long day, missed training, but hey, work takes precedence. Gotta make a buck, you know, especially if you're me, just change jobs, you gotta learn your job. That's what I'm saying right there. So I didn't train Thursday, probably all for the better because my hand has been hurting. I need to lay off the bench a little bit. And I laid off the bench, bench a little bit today, and hand was feeling better. So maybe taking that day off was a smart decision. Now I did those front squats on Wednesday. This right here was supposed to be my low intensity, high volume day on Friday. However, because Wednesday felt so good on the front squats, I decided to front squat again on Friday. And what do you know? They felt even better. So I couldn't let an opportunity like that pass. I just had to max out because I've never maxed out my front squat before. I've never hit a one rep max. Well, I mean, I have, but I mean, that was a long time ago. Most recently, I've been doing it for nothing less than three reps at a time. So the heavy side had gone was right here. 335 for three was my most recent heaviest weight lifted with the front squat. 335 for three. Do it for one right there. Look how clean that looks. That looks much like something that might be a five rep max. So 335 felt awesome. Go to 355, ride this down, do a little pause just because I have no idea what I was thinking. Bracket, and I'm like, damn, let's go to 365. Three and a quarter right here. Loving it. It felt awesome. Ride this sucker down into the hole stand right back up with it a little a little bit slow towards the top but i get it and had a very fleeting moment a short thought i was like maybe i should try four plates today damn that'd be awesome but you know what i made the smarter training decision instead i backed off to 275 repped it out got eight reps of 275 that is a new eight rep max also and I reverted back to my original training plan of making this a low intensity, higher volume day. All I did was just decrease the amount of volume of just a little bit to accommodate the, the max that I did on my front squat. Still made it a very good training day. Walked out of the gym, walking on cloud nine, because who doesn't like to hit one rep max PRs? I mean, let's be honest here. Especially when you hit it as clean as I hit that 365. So, after this meet that I've got coming up, probably going to do more front squatting in a much more serious manner. In the past, I had avoided front squatting pretty seriously because it was uncomfortable. I didn't know the movement. I knew it was useful. I knew it was going to be beneficial to my training. I just didn't apply myself to it. Moving ahead, I know in my heart and in my soul that the front squat is like a cheat code. Seriously, you guys, if you want to have strong legs, strong back, if you want to be a badass deadlifter, a badass squatter, you need to be a badass front squatter. The front squat's like master key for lower body strength. 
I'll talk on that more in the future. What you saw right there was some glute ham raises, just some more higher volume isolation type stuff for my Friday. This is today, Saturday. Again, it was supposed to be high volume or intensity. I didn't bench Thursday, so I decided, hey, I need to uh, need to get a little bit intensity on. I need to see if my little hand is feeling just a tad bit better. And what do you know? I took Thursday off. Today's Saturday. Hand's feeling a whole lot better. This is 315. Just last Tuesday, this killed my hand. Like, I could barely grip the bar. So putting 315 back then was just insane. I couldn't put it in my hand. I mean, I could, but it, it sucked bad. This right here, 335. This is five pounds heavier than I've ever done in a competition. It does get a little stuck. It got out of groove on the way down. I think I was just too too excited to lower the weight. It got out of groove. My mistake. But hey, feeling good about the weights. The hand is feeling just slightly better. So moving ahead, the bench looks like it will be back on board. I won't, I won't be fighting the bench press. Hopefully I can go into this meet on February 8th and set a bench PR. Would really like to do that. I barely missed 347, mostly because it was slow and I ratcheted up. Actually, only because it was slow and I ratcheted it up. But I would like to get that in this competition. We'll see how it goes on game day though. What you're seeing right here is my back off work. Just like Friday, I backed off down to 275, then 225 for higher volumes. I backed off my bench to 225, and I did three rep outs, you guys. I got 15 reps, 12 reps, then 10 reps. After that, I did a bunch of face pulls because you, you got to do that prehab, rehab work. You guys got to maintain those healthy shoulders. Then I did some hammer curls. Why hammer curls? Because they are now a staple in my training. I've had some pretty tremendous elbow pain in the past because of low bar squatting and tons and tons of benching, high frequency benching, high frequency squatting. My elbows are basically at a high frequency level of screw you. In order to combat that, hammer curls, you guys. Had a comment from a new subscriber asking what I do for assistance on my bench press. Number one assistance exercise. First things first, more benching. You gotta bench more often. So right now if you're benching one day a week, you gotta add a second day. Even if that's at the back end of a squat day or a deadlift day and you just do maybe three to five more sets at like 50% and try to progress that day up in volume or intensity over time, I mean, that's, that's the first step. But then you can also incorporate something like close grip bench or incline bench. That'd be a very, very shallow learning curve to incorporate that into your training. And then as you get more advanced, I personally need overload work I feel I need it, and so I use the slingshot on my Tuesday heavy bench day. Love my slingshot. So me personally, that's my addition for assistance exercises. Because I already have three three bench days. That's right, three bench days. One of them's got a slingshot on there. One of them's just raw benching, medium weight, medium intensity, medium volume. And then the third one is just tons and tons of volume. And that day is when I do things like pec flies, close grip bench, incline bench. You saw some standing shoulder press for light, light weights, tons and tons of volume. And that is how I base my benching. That's how I'm basing my peaking for this upcoming meet. So hopefully that answers your question. If not, let me know in the comments box how shitty I am at answering questions. But if you have a question, leave it down there. I read every single one of them. Thanks for watching, you guys. Talk to you next time.